Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Paper Craft. Um, do you remember the other week I made a tutorial for the doctor's bag, which is a die by Simply Made Crafts? Loads of people asked us if I could make something the same without a die. So that is what we're going to try and do today. So I've got two pieces of patterned paper, which are 10 inches by 12 inches. Okay. And I have got two pieces of card for the side of the bag. They are seven and a quarter by seven and three quarters. Now I've already done one because I want to show you how I've done it. Um, and it was pretty simple. So I'm just checking I've got it the right way. Right. I took a circular die, but it could be anything circular that you can just use to make, to draw around, to get your corners circular. This die is two and a quarter inches. All right, so all you're going to do is take a scoreboard first. You're going to score this at half an inch on three sides. Right, so you end up with that. Now, you want to have it so you've got the longer side, the seven and three quarters. So it's seven and three quarters by seven and a quarter. So what you want to do now is how I got it like that was what I did was I took the die and the score line here, just when it starts to touch the ends of the die, I basically just drew round it like that, okay? Then I did the same again, so put it on and when it just starts to touch the score lines like that, you then just draw around there, okay? So I did that. All right, and then I did the same on the end, so in the score lines, just as it starts to touch the edges, just draw around it like that. Same here, just put it on, and it's just starting to touch the edges of the paper. So that's what you should have on both ed both ends. Now, take some scissors and just cut around this bottom corner like that. Just follow the pencil mark round. Okay, so I've snipped them away. And then what we want to do is just where this little pencil mark stops just cut like that okay and then roughly the same where this one stops about here but we can do actually we'll do that in a minute yeah we can just cut it like that so just cut it about there so this piece here now what we need to do is we need to cut up to the pencil mark with like little teeth again so we're just creating these like little teeth that just go to the pencil mark and then they stop at the pencil mark Okay, so just something like that, right? It doesn't have to be, you know, completely precise. Just don't cut past the pencil line. Ok, 
okay so that's how I did it and then you, what you will do is you will take this same die you will put it back on and you will score around that pencil line with just a stylus of some sort a score tool all right and that's how I did the corners because I don't want them I didn't want them to just be like square corners and then now you will be able to fold them around okay so it's not difficult You've just got to take your time with it a bit and then obviously we will fold them in anyway same with the bottom so you want two of these so I've got my two of them there then take your scoreboard again and you've got our paper so what we want to do is on the long side of what will be the top of your paper you want to score it at half an inch and then do the same with the other one what will be the top of your paper score at half an inch right and that's it so just take these two pieces I'll just quickly fold on that score line and then we are going to join them together with the score lines facing at the very ends so you just want to join them together just probably I don't know maybe it's a quarter of an inch something like that that'll do so I'm just going to put some glue along just like that and then I'm going to glue my little bag what will be my bag together and I'm just going to turn it over and check that I've got it see now that goes up way too much there so yeah about a quarter three eighths of an inch join it together and then the bag will fold up like this okay so we need to put our sides on we need to put glue down there and kind of glue it in the middle of where we've just joined it together so glue on here now let's make sure they're really stuck so we're going to lift the sides up I'm basically just going to start and stick it together so you want glue on your little kind of teeth pieces and also down this score piece so then lift lift it up oh no we can't do it join it together because I forgot to do something right oh stupid me right take a ruler I knew I'd forget to do something I'm just so glad I didn't forget there right these brown pieces do this before you stick this together I can't believe I forgot that so we need to find roughly find the middle of this piece here so I'm just going to mark where I think the middle is and then from the bottom measure up to about three and a half inches measure up which is here and then what you want to do is you want to draw a line from this mark to the middle 
so I'm just going to make sure I get another mark the same height and then I'm going to draw a line from there and that's just marking the middle of this so that we can then like fold it in like that and then you can just fold that in like that okay so I am going to quickly do the other one because I should have done that first I can't believe I forgot that just do the same to this one all right so I've glued one side of it and you can see there that it's now rounded rather than just square so just don't forget to put those little side pieces on like me the little score lines so glue on these little teeth all right and then all you have to do is just fold your bag round like this. So then these bits go over which we've already scored and then with a bit of luck when we press it together it will fold over like that. How cool is that? And I've made this pretty large as well. So it's just really a case of decorations. I've got little half inch strips that I'm going to glue across there so I'll just glue these on they are 10 inches by half an inch so I'll glue these on and I'll be straight back okay I'm back so I have stuck those two pretty little panels on what else I've done is I have made my own straps I've just cut some um, of the same card as I made the sides of the bag they are ten and a half inches by three quarters of an inch I've just cut them at a point and I've just punched a few little holes in and I just ran my little stitch tool thing down to give that stitched effect I've took a couple of circle dies and all I've done is just cut out one circle die then the next size down out of that and it give us like a little give us what I'm gonna you know use as a buckle effect and I've just literally glued it on I've also cut a copper oval which is gonna go on the front and a handle this is 12 by three quarters of an inch and then I've cut a smaller narrow piece of the same paper and half an inch each side I've just scored and folded them up for the handle and then I've got a couple of bits of velcro so all I'm going to do is the bag will go like this and then I'm going to have my little stick the buckle on about here so I'm going to just pop some glue on the back
Then the handle, I am going to put the handle just under the little straps which I think, I don't know if I might have made them bits too wide but if I have I can I can just snip them down a little bit. There we go. Isn't that just gorgeous? And it's huge. It's about 10 inches long, um, 7 inches deep, and it's 7 inches high. So that is huge. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I say, I've had loads of people asking us. Um, so there we go. There is our no die doctor's bag so thanks for watching i'll have all the info on my blog and um, please remember to like and subscribe it really does help my channel out so yeah thanks for watching take care and bye for now